Good morning, fam. With Scott with FindBlackBiz.com. This morning is EMT. Your early, early morning thoughts are brought to you by <clears throat> a crisis of consciousness. Hmm. Consciousness, aka woke. The things that uh, a lot of black people uh, seem to be coming into and using it for good and for evil. Unfortunately, today we're gonna we're gonna talk about um, the cost of it and how deep consciousness is, based on the things that we see in television. We're gonna use um, Nate Parker's incident <clears throat> of him going through the issues of 12, 15 years ago, where they claimed that he and his now director of the film or co-director of the film uh, claimed he, that he they they were rape some white woman and <clears throat> now that these charges are coming up years and years later around the same time he's releasing a birth of a nation now I had a uh, <clears throat> I had a woman who watched the last film she goes Scott listen I saw your last film I saw or your last uh, video and you were speaking about how it's important that we go see um, a birth of a nation and I want to know in all consciousness how can you uh, go and watch a film created by you know uh, uh, a rapist and I just, well first of all I haven't gone to see the film yet I've been very swamped I'm planning on trying to see it this week <clears throat> but the issue at hand isn't whether or not I should go see it it's a matter of whether or not he's an actual rapist and why you believe he is so just based off the testimony of one person. Because, you know, I go to work and I work around a bunch of white women all the time. And I have to be very, very, very careful about what things are, what's what's said and how, how they're said. Because they can be depicted incorrectly and I can have a problem on my hands. And that's my biggest fear, being a very uh, hefty black guy, <clears throat> intelligent black guy, handsome black guy. And next thing you know, someone said I sexually assaulted him. What what can I say to to defend myself? Because in as far as women in the world, specifically the feminists, are concerned, I did it, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Uh, there's that's it. That's just the final draw. He's a, he's a rapist because this one white woman said so. Now. <clears throat> Let's, let's think about this in uh, simple terms. You had two black men that were accused of raping a white woman. <clears throat> she tried to uh, record, and, I, and I've uh, read the transcripts. Um, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins asked everybody who had a chance to read the transcripts. And these transcripts of this woman calling and recording, you know, what this conversation, the conversation that she had with Nate Parker... <clears throat> trying to catch him and convince him to say that he did indeed rape her when that was just not the facts and all he was telling us, no, you were down for this. You take responsible responsibility for what you said and acknowledged that was going down and you were okay with. It turns out it sounds like even by reading the transcripts that were released by the court that she indeed was down for all of this and then later on she felt some type of way. She felt bad and now she was just like, oh, I can't go down like this, especially since he's becoming famous and et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> um, he got acquitted. Now, I want y'all to think about it. What in what court system? Okay, and live in reality now for the moment. What court system has two black men um, <clears throat> who are accused of raping a white woman? That is the golden egg of society. White women. Sorry, black women. I know you, even if you are feminist, society don't doesn't care about you guys. But the white women, you know, the ones that you guys are always cannon fodder to, <clears throat> if you're a feminist, uh, those are that's the that's the golden egg. Those are the gooses. Like we gotta protect, and they protect their own. So if two black college, you know, black men were. Judged by a jury of their peers, that if you can have jury of a jury of their peers, I'm sure there were 12 white, black, white, excuse me, white men and women. 
who said he they didn't do it. Well, they charged the other guy and then eventually got it overturned. So still, two black men made it out of there. In what universe can you possibly say that he that they did it? Because we see black men go to prison for 80, 90 years of having a dime bag in their pocket, a dime bag of weed or coke, whatever, in their pocket. And you trying to tell me that he they still did it? Did you believe that they did what this woman is saying <clears throat> or what society is saying they did after they got acquitted by 12, I'm sure, angry white <laughs> men and women? Come on, that means... The case against them had to be so weak. That means they had to be super innocent that they had to let the guys go or else, like, I don't know, maybe maybe the sun was going to blot over. Who knows? But that's in this in this society, you have to be so super innocent uh, in order to get off without any charges in any, any cases. So I, I want you guys to really think about that. And then, you know, I feel bad that the lady died. She killed herself. Um... We'll never know why she killed herself. Some people said it was out of guilt for lying. Others say it was because of, uh, you know, she was angry at his success while her life pretty much uh, fell into the toilet for whatever happened. But the crisis of consciousness, I have none. I have none at all. Um, I can't afford to have any, especially when a film that comes out that's so important and it had to be self-funded by a black guy. It had to be funded. He had to go through all the work, win all the awards at the, the film festivals in order for this to be uh, sunlighted by Fox, which, you know, in my opinion, was a very dumb um, idea. He should have took, I think it was Mr. Singleton who wanted to purchase and give him all this money for the film. And he was offering like $4 million more than Fox and he still went to Fox. Sounds like he was set up by Fox. He asked me because out of all the, the great debaters and all these other films that he was in, how come? And I've been alive this whole time. Why is it that he was not? Uh, uh, this charge never that never came up. All of a sudden, you got a movie that's coming out showing depicting black slaves getting buck. You know, not taking this shit no more. You know, giving it, sticking it to the white man. And, and all of a sudden, now you got all these feminists and most of them white and with their cannon fodder, black and Hispanic uh, feminists, uh, yelling, screaming, you know, don't go see this. It's a crisis of consciousness. So, man, if you were conscious enough, really, in all honesty, you wouldn't let these white people use you guys as cannon fodder when it comes to uh, issues, when it comes to issues of women. But that's a whole other story. So, I, look, I don't have a crisis of consciousness in, in people. I want you to use your head. Use the facts, okay? You can't say someone's guilty if you don't know the facts personally, one. And if the judge, the, the jury, the judicial system, which is definitely against black men, uh, 100% against black men, like their whole goal is to make sure black men don't advance in any way, shape, or form, <clears throat> that especially if they don't go with the status quo, there's no way um, that y- you can say that yo know, they 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 raped, they they raped this woman, and I don't have a crisis of consciousness. You know, I, I do have uh, twin girls who are 18, who are of that age that they can be very stupid and listen to the lies of some of the boys just so that they get their willy uh, their little willies wet. Um, I, if I believed that they did it and I saw that the court say, hey, you did it, I couldn't watch this film. But no, I watch, I'm watch. i going to watch it. And I think every black, Hispanic, and hell, even some of you white folks who just don't don't really get how important this film is should go and watch it, regardless how your personal feelings. This is a masterpiece that will come around, probably won't come around ever again. You'll probably see 10, 10 to 15 more slave movies uh, before you see anything of a uh, of real worth. Um, then again, I could be wrong. I heard they're doing Mansa Musa. I heard they're doing. Um, oh God, I forgot the, the guy's name. The guy with the elephants. Uh, a Barca. I can't. Hannibal Barca. I, they're doing a lot supposedly, but I haven't seen anything yet. So uh, I also think that if you claim to be conscious, I think this is, should have been the number one film in America at the time, and if you turn around and make Medea's 
uh, you know, Halloween, the number one film of the weekend, and spend all the extra money on seeing a guy dressed up in, in you know, as a woman <laughs> to, to prove a point of balanced Christianity. I don't understand how, what, how that works, but <clears throat> and over, over a film of a black man standing up for himself and, and for black people, I think you have a crisis of consciousness and something's wrong with your head. And this is Scott Lewis of FindBlackBiz.com. Uh, this is your EMT. I tell everybody all the time, if you can't do it every day, and if you can't do it every, once a week, at least try doing it once a month. And that's the Think, Act, by Black. I love you guys. Have a good morning.